Pascoe police officer and her family today, getting support from her brothers and sisters in blue. Yeah, the Oak Ridge Police Department uh, rallying behind a baby born last week premature. Now, we introduced you to the family last night at 11 and told you about plans for today's blood drive. Well, blood transfusions are vital for that little baby boy to survive. New here at 6 o'clock, we sent WHE 6 on your side reporter Elizabeth Kubel to a blood bus station in Oak Ridge. She's sharing the mission now to support baby Brock Selby. We became police officers to help our community in any way that we can, utilizing our unique talents. It just so happens the unique talent today is donating blood. Oak Ridge police officers stepping up today to back one of their own. This is Officer Cheryl Selby's baby grandson, Brock. He was born prematurely at 25 weeks, weighing less than a pound. Brock is currently in NICU at East Tennessee Children's Hospital. Cheryl realized there are a lot of babies there that needed help. They didn't have anyone donating blood for them. So our guy said, well, let's just let's help out all the babies if we can. A medic blood bus set up today in Oak Ridge, many donating on Brock's behalf. He's O positive and in need of blood, even undergoing his fourth blood transfusion today. You have a number of our officers who are here on their day off, and they weren't asked to do this. They did this on their own. So first of all, I'm really proud of Cheryl Selby for looking outside her own pain and taking care of her family and won't take care of these other babies that needed support. And then our guys were stepping up and supporting her. Medic stressing how important blood donations are, but equally stressing the importance of giving over time, not just today. We want to sort of spread out the donations, not just at a lump sum, but continue to donate uh, over the time so the family can receive um, the, the credits and also medic can supply the hospital with that um, a blood type that is needed. And one thing made clear today, this law enforcement community operates like a family. This is Oak Ridge. This is how we do things in Oak Ridge. We do rally behind and take care of one another. It is community. So good to see so many of them come out today. Elizabeth joining us now here in the studio. Yeah, and Elizabeth, I know you've been in touch with the family and close friends. Uh, any message you want to pass along from them tonight? Yeah, there is. Family members just weren't able to talk on camera today, Bo, but a family friend sending a message on their behalf, in part thanking everyone who came out today to donate blood on Brock's behalf, saying the outpouring of support has been overwhelming and they can't begin to thank those who have stepped up enough. Bo, Kristen. All right, Elizabeth, thank you so much. And kind of some extra good news. We yeah. heard from our folk, uh, friends over at Children's Hospital. They were yeah. saying they're getting inundated with phone calls. People still want to help and to donate. Right. So we want to make sure you know if you do want to donate, you can donate on behalf of Brock at any Medic Mobile Drives or at their Medic Center as well. And of course, Medic doing a fantastic yeah. job yeah. as well, helping out. Yeah, reach out to Medic. Just make sure, again, you mention his name when you check in.